out-of-state investors. You don't have to leave all of that equity on the table. I'm going to show you how to identify, analyze, and buy cash-flowing properties on the market in local cash-on-cash cash return cities just like this one. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode, MLS Search and Analysis Show. We're on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And as I said at the top, I'm going to help you guys identify, analyze, and buy cash flowing properties just like this, okay? You don't have to go to those traditional turnkey providers that um, would keep all the equity, you know, for themselves, right? I'm not saying that that route is horrible. It's not. They do make things quite easy for you. And, uh, you know, we have that type of offering and stuff here at Holton Wise, but we also go a little bit deeper for those uh, real estate investors who want to be more involved, who want to, who are willing to put in the time, the effort, the offers, the, anal uh, the analysis, the due diligence to try to go above and beyond that, to try to squeeze out even more pro uh, profits, right? But you're going to have to do a little more work and things aren't going to be as packaged as easily as you'd like them. You have to kind of deal with some unknowns, but we have the full turnkey service uh, uh, to go along with that, right? So what we have here, let me let me show you uh, what I'm talking about, okay? 2121 West 105th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Been on the market for four days, listed at 89.9. And I am working on this particular property for a client by the name of Elvis. Elvis, what's up, brother? You are a blue collar son bitch. I love your story. This is the fourth uh, video I've done for you. You are uh, working in the electrical trades. You've been doing it for the last 20 something years, okay? You're a blue collar guy just like myself, and you're trying to build your real estate portfolio uh, with these types of blue collar investments. This is not a brand new property by any means, right? It's older housing stock. We're in the Cleveland market. This property, it's almost 100 years old, right? Built in 1929. But this thing is a cash cow, right? Currently, in that little $89,000 property, we got two tenants, each paying $650 a month. $1,300 a month comes in, guys. That's $15,600 a year. $15,600 a year going to come in, Elvis. $8,000 goes out the door on an annualized average basis, leaving you with an average profit of $7,500. In addition to that $7,500, don't think I haven't thought about those you know, those uh, non-fixed expenses, right? Our capital expenditures, I'm saving 780. That's on top of your return. Vacancy and non-payment, them tenants are paying right now, but me and you both know they ain't gonna do that forever. I'm saving that on top of your return because that shit's gonna happen, right? You know that, I know that. And then of course, when they do move out, we gotta do a lot more repairs and maintenance, right? You don't do a lot of repairs and maintenance on these properties when the tenants are there, but when they move out, you gotta do those turns, right? So, 7,500 bucks on average comes in and then we're saving for those big ticket items like roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks, none of which are new here, all mid to end of life. This is like what landlords have, right? We, we, we see a lot of turnkey folks, right? They come, you know, from the idea, oh, you got to do turnkey properties if you want to invest out of state. Guys, when you're buying properties directly from actual landlords, Landlords don't decide one day they want to sell their property and be like, I got to replace the roof, the hot water tanks, and the furnaces. <laughs> That's not how this game works. It doesn't make any goddamn sense, right? If you got a roof, like this one, older roof, okay? Uh, I don't exactly know how old it is, but let's say it's mid-10 to life, right? Your roof's supposed to last 30 years. This roof, okay, about a $7,000 roof. Say you want to sell it one day. You decide you want to sell it. You're the current owner. You got probably eight years of life expectancy left on this roof. You ain't going to just spend $7,000 to replace it, right? Same thing goes for those furnaces. Those are three apiece, right? If they're still working, you ain't going to replace it. Hot water tanks, if they're still working, you get about 15 years out of those bad boys. They cost about 1000 right? All that stuff is baked into the cake when you come up with the actual market price for a property like this, which this one, Elvis, I'd like to see you pick it up at $85,000, Right, this is a you know a working man's property. Okay, it's it's not gonna look 
like super fancy or anything of that nature, right? As a matter of fact, like this is the backyard. The backyard, it looks a little rough, but this is how we're able to go into these neighborhoods, stabilize properties like this with Section 8 tenants and get these high price to rent ratios, right? You know, guys like us, we're able to, to see past stuff like this and realize you know, in a C-class neighborhood like this, tenants are still going to be down to rent this property. Six fifty a month is a solid price point, right? You have to understand, it's not always going to be completely wrapped up in a pretty bow for you if you guys are trying to get these prices. Now, if you guys want to pay $150,000 for a duplex, I'll get you all the most beautiful duplex you've ever seen in your life, okay? Are you a lender? If so... Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. I'll, I'll make sure it's super pretty. There ain't going to be no weeds coming up through the driveway, things of that nature. But if you're trying to buy sub $100,000 duplexes for this type of rent, this, this is the reality of what you're buying, right? But... The risk, in my opinion, is totally worth the reward because if we could pick this thing up for you at 85000 Elvis, that's an 8.9 cap. If you finance it, you're only going to need to put down 21250 Bank will loan you the rest. That's a 20.3% return on your money. That should be a clear, easy, passive return, right? My team will handle all the issues for you. If these tenants give us problems, they don't pay rent, we'll boot them out of there. Going forward, I would like to probably replace tenants as, you know, the tenants naturally turn over. I would like to replace them as Section 8 tenants. We do that, and we accomplish two goals, Elvis. Goal number one, we get the rent up, okay? Six 50. Ain't nothing wrong with 650, but my team in units like this, neighborhoods like this, we typically get 750 going through the Section 8 program. Number two, when we have Section 8, that alleviates a lot of the risks when you're investing in this type of real estate, these types of asset classes. When you're dealing with people that are on the lower end of the income spectrum, the biggest problem we have as real estate investors is non-payment of rent, especially, especially during the coronavirus pandemic, okay? So how do you Work around that, guys. Well, you get people that have government-guaranteed rent. The government, they're taking all of our money via taxes, and they're redistributing it how they see fit. Don't complain about the game. Just adapt to how you play the game, okay? If the government's handing out the cheese, we need to get in front of the line and get our cheese, folks. And you do that by putting Section 8 tenants in your rental properties, right? Capitalize on the fact that they're handing out that bread and it's guaranteed, baby. I have put a lot of Section 8 tenants in my portfolio over the last few years, and I got to say, I ain't looking back, man. My evictions go way, 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 way down when I don't have to worry about that rent coming in. So, Elvis, brother, for all those reasons, I thought that this particular property would be perfect for you. Let me know what your thoughts are. Reply to the private email. Everybody else, if you want to work with me in the same way Elvis has been doing, send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll reach out to you, talk to you about our process, figure out what we need to know about you, your wants, your needs, your income, things of that nature. You could also click the show notes below if you're ready to purchase right now. And Elvis, I wanted to give you a few things to chew on, right? I think this one works perfect for your portfolio. I know we've been working together to try to build up a big portfolio for you. So I wanted to give you more than one option today. So right now I'm about to film another video for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.